Velux Desktop. New features to enhance your workflow. Velux Desktop, along with the new interface, it includes various new features to improve your workflow. In this video, we will demonstrate five ways that can help you work more efficient in indoor as well as outdoor projects. In the previous versions of Relux, when you positioned a luminaire in a scene, you would have to rotate it afterwards accordingly. Now, when you select a luminaire, you can rotate the luminaire in 90 degree steps before positioning it, just by pressing Enter each time. The same function can be done with objects. Also, the multiple insert function is now available, just by pressing Ctrl the moment you position a luminaire. So as we can see here, you can combine the rotate function with the multiple insert, to position your luminaires in the scene with less effort. The third new feature is the possibility to create a luminaire row by using a path as a reference. In general, you can create this path with the Draw a Partition tool or with the Draw an Escape route. The partition or escape route can be deleted after the luminaire row was created or can be changed into a cube or measurement surface. So we hover over the luminaire we want to insert and with right click we enable further options. There, we select Row over Path and a question mark next to the mouse cursor will appear. We select our path we created and then adjust the number of luminaires we want to have in this row. Once you have your row and approve the luminaire aiming, you might want to move your row a bit to the back or front. Usually, by moving a single luminaire or luminaire row, it would also change the aiming point. Now, by selecting Lock Aiming on the luminaire ribbon, you can move the luminaire without having to go all over the procedure of adjusting the aiming of the luminaires. Last but not least, the new user interface includes various alignment possibilities for luminaires or objects in a scene. So let's say you've positioned your luminaires in the scene and now you want to align them all in the same axis but you don't want to waste your time to adjust the coordinates of each luminaire. You can align multiple luminaires or objects by selecting the first one as a reference along with the others to be aligned. Then in the Start ribbon select the appropriate one, in this case Align Bottom. So all luminaires that were selected afterwards will align to the reference luminaire below. These six options on the right of the alignment menu are for multiple selection of luminaires and objects, whereas the first three on the left are for single ones. These are just few of the many new features included in a new version. If you want to find out more on how to make your workflow with Relux more efficient, please follow our social media channels or tune in for new tutorials. Thank you for watching.